Um, these are some poems about traveling. Uh, they're about, they resulted from uh, a trip that we took on a ship across the ocean. Uh, it started at, uh, in Italy, at Venice, and wound up in Fort Lauderdale, uh, Florida. The first one is uh, called On the Bus. On the bus ride from Marco Polo Airport to Mestra. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. Above flowers and green ditches, concrete buildings moldering, I saw the spires and rooftops of Venice through a misty rain riding the five euro bus from VCE to the Mestra bus station. Later walking, lost, the Italian rain felt warm after Minnesota and 10 hours on the airplane, I wondered if Titian ever walked here, back when it was a farm field maybe or a dirt road and marveled at the gray white light reflected through thinly painted trees. The, this next poem is called I Worry About Vesuvius. Um, and it's from a thing that I saw from the deck of the ship. Sixty-five feet up from the sea on the deck of a huge cruise ship, which was like a chandelier grown monstrously big. I watched the volcano near Stromboli twice blow fire and sparks into the clouds. The experts said the volcano had been continuously erupting all through recorded history. But of course, that is just an eye blink to a volcano. During that uh, ocean voyage, we ran into a big storm near Madeira in the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, so this poem is about that experience. It's called Storm Near Madeira in the Atlantic Ocean. The huge ship with its cargo of aging legs, skinny asses, and tuxedos rolled like the whole world had come unglued. I sat on deck three and watched the giant waves looking, yes, just like enormous saw teeth turned upside down. The old Australian guy confided to me that he had just had a bit of a chuck. But I chewed another seasickness tablet and headed for the buffet. Uh, again, a little later in that same voyage, uh, this is called Almost Across the Atlantic. Two days out of Fort Lauderdale, we saw a cruise ship in the distance, like a goblet of frozen lights in the blackness of the ocean night. Later, from the back of the ship, the moon came out, round as any balloon, and stepped with slippers of light across the turquoise path 
of the ship's wing. When we uh, reached Fort Lauderdale, uh, there weren't any flights available, so we uh, uh, wound up uh, renting a car with some other travelers and uh, drove to Memphis, where we got a flight the next day to Minneapolis, back to Minneapolis. And uh, I wound up doing all the driving, which was fine, I liked to drive. Um, but driving all night across Alabama, uh, this is a poem about that experience. It's called Driving Across Alabama. After a month out of the USA, driving from FLL to MEM in the middle of the night, it was good to see familiar lights and advertising signs, even McDonald's. I stopped and got a soda. The only rental car available was a huge Mercury. So I drove while the others slept and thought, how American is this? Driving an enormous, poorly engineered gas guzzler through the warm wood smoke of an Alabama night. Contentment sitting in my fat American belly like a moon pie and two big men. 